<coughs> a long, long time ago, when a world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow, the tiny Pakori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword of in golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined the blade with care. <clears throat> hey guys, it is a uh, one-up cupcake here, and uh, yes, today we. Today we are doing my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda The Miner's Cap. I remember this game coming out quite some long time ago in 2005. Uh, I haven't played it, you know, since I really got it. I, I, I really love this game. Like, I love it a lot. I played it a lot back then. I just don't play it as much now. So I'm going to be doing this game 100% complete for you guys. And yeah, let's get into it. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness, Princess Zelda! Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Cupcake? The whole town's bustling about the annual Pakori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind, Tribbly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Cupcake was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Cupcake, time to get up. Cupcake, time to get up. Hey, Cupcake! Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Yeah, Cupcake, come on. Let's go check out the festival together. Sorry, my voice kind of scratched there. Master Smith gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes around once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making the sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Make sure you don't lose it, it's extremely important delivery. This is the play that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it, and while the two of you may be children and out of friends, remember Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her, don't let her get anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying, we'll be fine, perfectly safe. Come on, Cupcake, let's go check out the festival. So yeah, uh, the smith, you actually do live with him, uh, he is your uncle in this game. Uh, a couple cool facts that I found out about this game, uh, that I do know about this game, uh, it was released in Japan in 2004, uh, released in English, North America in 2005. Hurry up, Cupcake, let's go. Um, it is, indeed, the sequel to Skyward Sword. I thought that was pretty awesome. I love Skyward Sword, I've been playing it a lot. I'm thinking about making the Skyward Sword after I'm done with this let's play of making this Legend of Zelda, uh, sorry, the Skyward Sword my next let's play after this one. Let me know what you think, let me know if that'd be a good idea, let me know if you like my voice acting, I know it's a little off, but just let me know. Here we are Cupcake, doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Uh, this is the main town of Hyrule, uh, we will be coming here a lot. Um. Oh, I wonder what's over there. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is the main town of Hyrule, like I was saying. We will be coming here a lot. Oh, the Pecoria are real. My father told me they were. Oh, look at that. She's just got, like, ADD. She just cannot sit still. She's like a squirrel. I had no damn in her head. Oh, my God. What's up my dad? Oh, the sword fighting came into the castle. I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow. Over here. Jeez. She's nuts. She's gone. <laughs> we have a winner. Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing, wow! You get the choice of any of these wonderful prizes, what will it be? First we have this lovely heart-shaped stone, next we have... 
this magnificent gem and finally there's a teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, but this heart stone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Or, or the giant gem? It's pretty. Honestly, they both are much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. No, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't this shield suit you perfectly, Cupcake? I guess, I guess we're teeny tiny. <laughs> we're teeny tiny. Oh, the button to protect yourself. It's a little embarrassing that it's so tiny. Oh, well, it's tiny, but it'll do. Yep, just as I thought, you look great. Now, if anything happens to you, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot, we have to take the Master Smith sword to the castle. Let's go, Cupcake. Uh, if you do end up breaking the shield somehow, uh, you can come back here to the Hyrule Town and uh, buy another one at the market. Come on, let's hurry up, let's to the castle. I can't speak English today. <laughs> hey! Ouch! That must be the business scrub, I heard the soldiers talking about it. They were saying the Decker scrub had been hassling all the passerby. Cupcake, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. <laughs> Please forgive me, sir. I heard the festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have the tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. <laughs> actually, I actually feel a little sorry for that, business, girl, but that not hurt. <coughs> <laughs> I can't even help it. But that nut hurt. Those nuts. Only if we can protect ourselves against his nuts. <laughs> but uh, that is honestly the only business scrub. Normally, uh, business scrubs, uh, you pay them rupees. And they will give you tips. <laughs> Normally, but except that one. Oh, Cupcake, you brought the sword, did you? Then as the Minister of the Kingdom, I will I pot to accept this blade. You just came in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Cupcake, but I better go. I have to prepare the, for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you're here, Cupcake, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Do you know about that sword, Cupcake? It is called the Picori Blade, and it looks locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is scared among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Yes, that's what I want if I want a competition with swords. I want to touch a blade. Not really. No. Let the award ceremony commence. By you the champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. Dun, 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 dun. So the Picori are the Minish. I did want to say that. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 to think things would go this well. The Picori blade and the bound chest spoken of the Hyrulean lore. The chest must hold which I s the power which I seek. Let's see his confidence now. Now the guards want to get him. He just looks evil. Why didn't you guys stop him before he even got here? Like, I, I don't understand it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> do not interfere with me. As the victor, I earn the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, Duken! <laughs> and he is releasing all the monsters away out of here. But, dang. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess that holds the power of the light. The mysterious power that is said to flow in the veins of every royal lady and your family ever since the day that it was granted to your people. 
if you leave now, if I leave you now, you only cause me trouble later, and that will never do. Just going with you. I love how Link tries to protect her, and he just like gets knocked out of the way, like boom, like he's just nothing, he just gets knocked over. <laughs> oh, he's standing in my way, shall so share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. <gasps> Empty, there was nothing in there but those monsters. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry, I can take my time searching for it. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Shazam! Be gone! <laughs> Flip out of bed. <laughs> oh, Cupcake, you're awake. Are you feeling alright? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule was about to speak. <coughs> As it is heard, all of you have heard, the man named Bayeti has cursed the fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Pekori blade, we could likely have broken the curse. But Bayeti shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you think about, know about the Pecori? The Pecori? You mean those stone-sized little imps from the fairy tales? <coughs> yes, yes, the same. But the Pecori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pecori who forged the sacred blade live deep within Menish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? You must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, the soldiers will not do. The Pecori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. Why not? In that case, why not send Cupcake? If Cupcake has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask of this of him. Please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Pecori should know how to create a, the new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been free. Please take this sword with you along with the broken Pecori blade. <coughs> and we got the broken Pecori blade. This part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. I don't really know how we're going to lose it, but, you know, I mean, I guess it's possible. Very well. Send the soldiers to search for Vietti at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find the place called the Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Pecori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. I think this map would take this map with you if you get lost on your way to the forest. If you check your map, just press start and then L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. And we got the map of Hyrule. Now I'm never gonna get lost. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm counting on you, Cupcake. Only you can break Vietti's curse and free Princess Zelda. <laughs> Only I can. That's that's crazy. Jeez. <sighs> Let's uh go on our way here over to the finished woods now. I love this music. This music's uh this music also played in uh the Four Swords Adventures. It's it's really nice. A lot of similarities. Now we're at North Highway Field. Just continue rolling past these enemies. You don't really need to fight them. There's really nothing up there. I can just roll past them. If you go up here to the east and you uh, cut down these trees, uh, this is the way you need to go. And then you will hold yourself onto the Lawn Lawn Ranch. Ah! Ah! Uh, surprisingly, nothing's blocked off. Um, over here to your left, you will see a Goron hitting the rock. Oh, I fell down. <laughs> it, I think that's pretty cool, having the Goron in here. I, I love that. He's just sitting there bashing away at the rock. You just continue down these stairs. And head down, and then east, over here. And now we are in the Minish Woods. Uh, if we head, uh, I mean, this, my direction's really bad, uh, east? 
across this little bridge. Oops. Across this little bridge looking thing. My bad. Uh, just head south here. Oh, look, and uh, the choo choos. These things can also be found in uh, older Zelda games and Phantom Hourglass and the Four Swords and uh, a whole bunch of Zelda games, actually. Uh, you just head up this way and uh. Help, help me! Help, help me! Ow, it's what somebody stop them! Ow, ow, help somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Uh, before you do that, if you head over here to your left, you will get your first piece of a heart container. And, uh, you only need four. So, uh, yeah. You get your first heart container pretty early on in this game. So, let's go over here and let's help, uh, Elzlo. He is, uh, Ezlo, sorry. He is the Minish Cap, and, uh, your partner in crime through this whole game. He allows, you know, to shrink down the Pori size and the Minish size. And, yeah, he is your partner in this whole game. Hey, you're there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there and do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me, me take this abuse? Help me! Ooh, well done! That was close, not that I couldn't have handled them myself, but that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ho oh, ho, oh, I see. The Pecoria, you say, and Viette? Viette's cursed someone with the sacred blood? Is that so? I see, I see, you know you have... And I have quite a lot in common, see? I am too in a quest to break the curse of Viette. And you say you're avoiding the bread can break his curse, eh? Well then, you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name's Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And, uh... Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've not noticed I have no legs. If you walk away from it three times, he'll jump on your head. Boy, take a look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Arr! If it isn't one thing, it's another. You're a troublesome boy. And then he just jumps up on your head and now rides you. There now you can't possibly leave me behind. And it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks. And much easier on me. Hey, quit squirming. Can't you sit still, see there? Yes, yes, that's it, much better. Now I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need insight, press select and I'll be happy to help you. As in Sarah is such a hopeless child. No, thanks for calling me hopeless. You're gonna be my partner and you're gonna sit here and call me hopeless? Thanks, there. <laughs> Hold on for a moment, my boy. We stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small, so you're far too big to meet them now. Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, so they allow me to explain. You humans call them Kori, but they refer to themselves as Minish. Showing how the world of humans are only. Only in this forest kept the name, anyhow deep in the forest they built a tiny village where many of them live now. But to enter the village we have to touch the smaller first. Look at that. At first glance that appears to be a mere slump, yes? No, that slump is the portal used by the people long ago to adjust their size. With my help you can use it to shrink down to middle size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. And then you return to normal sign next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. So yes, there will be tons of these uh, throughout the game, and uh, you can sink through this pot and trees and everything, and any time he can shrink you down to the Minish size, you can see the world through the Minish eyes, and you become a Minish. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now aren't you glad you saved me? You don't need to thank me, there are portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you were to return to normal, just stand next to the portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know, being Minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles to normal size are bottom and jumps to the Minish. And, you, and as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So, proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. So yes, this uh, mere puddle up top that uh, you ran through once his link is now a dangerous swamp. Because you are Minish size. Let's just 
Alright, this little leap. Oh, there's a little village. I can see it. Let's get off here. And this is the eye of Suzumakori. I really like the graphics here. I think they did a really nice job. I think they did a really nice job to the graphics of this whole game, really. It's really, really nice. From the place where they found the Minas Village. I found there was been quite some time since I last saw the human. What? That's you did not understand what they were saying just now. Ah yes, that was the language of the menace. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch the most of what they said myself, but perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Okay, so if you had uh, up here to the northeast, and you go up, what is it? And you go up, 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 and you go up far enough to see there's a little dock here, and you see the little building that looks like you're like a stone, and you just head this way, you will head your way and get your second hard piece of the game. Now I have two heart pieces. Collect two more to increase your life energy. Heck yeah. Actually, by the time we're done with the first uh, dungeon, we should have five heart pieces. There's two in the dungeon, and then you get the one after the boss. So then you just head your way north up into here, and you talk to him. And he understands the language. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Vistari. I watch the Abbey as... The shrine to the north. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a jabber nut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. I love how the music in here is the same that they or is basically like a remix of what they did in uh, Ocarina of Time. I really, really like that. That's really nice. So you just head you know south here. It's kind of hard to miss a building that looks like a giant barrel. <laughs> you can't really miss it. And you head up north here, and you just push that aside, and then you get the Jabbernut. Oh, Cupcake! This must be the Jabbernut for Starry told you about. Her. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabbernut, now you can understand the language of the Minish. So you the jabber, now, now you can understand our language. The artists that humans can no longer hear us as they once could or see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Yeah, because you guys only reveal yourself to children. Of course I can see you. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> so if you head this way, over to the west and the north. Let's see here. Let's continue on north here. Go to the slider and you will find your way to... Sorry. Oh, you speak our language? It's been quite a while since we've heard any outsider speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Well, thank you for the offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezler, and the child kept it. This is the child kept it. We need to break the curse up and return to find the princess of power. So they're so ready to reforge the broken Pecori blade. Oh yes, I see you've come here now to have the blade reforged. If you want the blade reforged, you will need four elements. These are the crystalline forms that energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can we make a new blade can a new blade be forged here. Give me your map, I can mark these where the elements can be found. And there is the four elements we need to put the blade back together. Earth element is found in the shrine of Fistari Bay. Speak to Fistari, he will show you the path to the shrine. Entrance, now go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in the shrine. Return to me once you have found the earth element. We will do. And now we just head on our way back over here to Fistari. Oh, I'm about to pass the building. And guys, uh, that is it for this episode, so in next episode we will be going to the shrine up ahead to go and get the earth element, um, you know, uh, just, uh, 
so we will I will see you guys in um, down below there is a little uh, like little thumbs up like button if you'd like if you like this video hit a like if not you can hit a dislike just let me know what you thought uh, leave a comment let me know what you think let me know what you think about the voice acting if you liked it if you didn't um, let me know how you feel um, uh, like and subscribe guys thanks because I I couldn't be doing this without you all so uh, just like I said let me know what you think Thank you, and next time on our adventure of Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap, see you guys next time when we explore to go get the Earth Element. <laughs>